Well, I'm Mike Massey. I'm uh, the train project manager for the Route 66 Historical Village. Uh, I got involved in this train back in 1985 and have been involved in the, uh, the restoration of it. Uh, there's a, kind of a long story behind it, but uh, the, the main story behind it was the locomotive was built in 1942 by the uh, Bolton Locomotive Works for the Frisco Railroad. It was assigned to pull the, uh, the crack passenger train, the Meteor, from uh, St. Louis to uh, through Tulsa, Oklahoma to Oklahoma City and back on a daily basis. It did this for like the first five years, 1942 to late 1947. In uh, 1948, when uh, the Frisco Railroad along with other, uh, other railroads were converting their motive power from steam to diesel electric, uh, this engine, along with most all the others, they were uh, demoted to pull freight trains, and then eventually, like in 1950, this one was, uh, it was mothballed. It was uh, shut down, and uh, uh, unfortunately, of the 25 locomotives that the Frisco had purchased, only four survived, this being one of them, and, and Tulsa was fortunate enough to receive it, and for uh, 34 years, it sat under a canopy at Tulsa's Mohawk Park Zoo. And uh, it was then moved by uh, volunteers building track, moved it to the town of Owasso, and we underwent the, the project of trying to restore it, at least cosmetically. Uh, by the year 2000, the project had pretty much died. The city of Tulsa realized by 2002 that this uh, engine was still on their books, and uh, they, were, they were trying to get rid of it. But a local grassroots group came a, came along and convinced the city of Tulsa to keep it here in Tulsa and uh, that we could uh, rebuild it and make it back to its original glory. And uh, uh, by the year 2011, the, the restoration had been completed cosmetically and then we were able to bring it out here to the, to the village on uh, June 5th, 2011. And uh, we're going to make it where we can allow people to climb up in the cab and they'll be able to hear uh, simulated sounds, uh, simulated smoke out the stack. Uh, we're going to make it as realistic as possible without actually firing it up. City of Tulsa still owns the locomotive and they said we couldn't run it. So we're, uh, we're complying to that, but we are going to make it as realistic as we possibly can. And uh, we want to make it where people can climb up in the cab, see all the gauges and the levers and the knobs, and uh, actually experience a little bit of what this locomotive was all about. And when the engineer pulls the whistle cord, the whistle's actually gonna blow. So uh, that's kind of it in a nutshell. It's just, uh, we wanted to make sure that the locomotive was, was uh, as pristine as possible. Uh, the, of course, the sun is taking its, its uh, share of, uh, uh, taking its toll on the paint, but we're going to, uh, I we're planning on eventually having a canopy over the locomotive and the entire train uh, with a, our passenger car, our oil tank car and our caboose behind, have it completely covered and have it to tie in to our brand new train station. 